Are we tasting this too? Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I want to taste it. We can't taste it. I just got to steam it first. Mm -hmm. Should I steam it now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll pause this video. Hello, everyone. My name is Lisa, and I'm the Viet Vegan, because I'm Viet, and I'm vegan. And today I'm with... Hello, I'm Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan, because I'm cheap and I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> today we're doing a taste test of a bunch of Vietnamese different recipes and not recipes different what am i even saying different <laughs> like delicious things also from my childhood so we have vietnamese coffee we have yeah mama which you guys might have seen before in my like tasting childhood vietnamese recipes treats yes so i'm excited we just be. did a huge haul from the vietnamese store no the asian market mm -hmm. in chinatown mm -hmm. so if you want to see the haul where we got all these things you can check out Rose's video over there, and while you're there, you might as well hit subscribe. And I'm pretty sure most of you are subscribed to her. If right you're now. not subscribed, what do you do? Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> she does cheap, lazy, delicious vegan recipes, so you should check it out. Yay! Yeah. And it's she also movie. does like f up recipes like I do. <laughs> We're trying things, and I'm very much excited for the Vietnamese coffee. So let's just get started on that because yeah. that takes the longest to brew. We have these fancy Sunday, are these Sunday cups? Is that what it's called? Like milkshake glasses? Milkshake or glasses. Uh, I like. So I have some vegan condensed milk, which is coconut based. I got it from the Korean market that's like by my house. <laughs> we, I was hoping for like a nice creamy, you know. Yeah, well that's typically how it, how yeah. it works, but apparently. Is it too thick? Maybe. I've also, like, I have a Do we have to mix with hoarding? So, like, I've had it for a while. <laughs> Is that normal? Oh, okay. you just need a little stir. A little stir stir. Okay. It's very thick. Wow. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. So if you make a lot of fledge recipes, oh my god. This stuff. It's mm. so rich. It looks like caramel. So I'm gonna dunk some in there. Do you like your coffee sweet? Not too sweet, but that should be good. Should we try it together? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. This sure. is a taste test. One, two. Oh, get it all in there. Mmm. Mm. Very coconutty. Really good. It's, yeah. That's the texture of condensed milk. That's that's yeah. what I'm about. All Super right. Super sweet. I like it. I only have one of these coffee brewer things. Um, we're gonna do one at a time, but that's fine. It's gonna fine. take a while, isn't it? A little bit. It's like a. Drink we'll eat everything else while we. Yeah. While we wait for the coffee. So we're doing. Um, meet, meet. Seriously? <laughs> There's normally like a tab. Oh, mm. I love coffee so much. So basically what you do is you put it inside this thing. I so have one of these. Really? I, yeah. My I think I bought it or someone bought it when they went to Vietnam. Oh. So I, this is a good learning experience mm -hmm. for me. So you take about like a tablespoon or so or whatever and then you pack it down and then you put it on top of your glass and then you add boiling water. Mm -hmm. So is a tablespoon enough coffee? Is that going to be strong? Uh, you need a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, this, this is strong stuff. Okay. Ooh, guys, are you seeing this? Is this, is this even showing? And then we're gonna put um, ice on top and then we're gonna stir it up and we're gonna drink it. Mm -hmm. So we had a bit of a crisis, coffee yeah. crisis. Yeah, it's okay though. So now now we're good. It was kind of like overflowing because there was no air coming out so it wouldn't let the, the coffee drip down, so. So the tip is to always, if you're gonna make Vietnamese coffee, make sure you have a little bit of space <laughs> so that a little bit of air goes in. So there's like yeah. a, an in and out. You know yeah. how like with like... Now it looks like it's done. Should oh, we try the coffee first? <laughs> you really want coffee, yeah? I okay. really do. Okay, one second. <laughs> so first what you do is you take our Vietnamese long spoon. <laughs> you want more condensed milk? Yeah. <laughs> she wants more condensed milk. Oh my god, it's so good. Maybe a tiny bit more. Because I feel like I want the Vietnamese experience. Normally it's like a lot lighter in color. It might not. Oh my god, it's so strong and delicious. I love that strong coffee. So this is like on my alley. Here we We've go. Got ice. I'm gonna put that in. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh yeah. my god, it's so good. It's so sweet, but it's like strong. Mmm. God, the condensed milk was a good shout. Like the extra. It's like a little too sweet, but it's okay because the water will kind of like melt mm. from the ice. It's so good. It's like dessert. And I'm gonna be a happy camper because this is ca caffeinated. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's a strong coffee. Mm. Okay. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like slightly coconutty. I don't think it's overpowering. I don't think so. I think it complements it well, especially yeah. with like the chicory. Yeah, it goes oh, well. so well. The coffee's so good. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna try tofu. So if you guys saw from the haul, 
um, that we did on Rose's channel. We got some legitimately the best tofu you will ever have. And I, you probably have seen this in my recipes a lot of times. This is the tofu that I'll use, but you can use any tofu that you want to for my recipes, but this is the best. From the tofu shop. Yeah. There aren't many tofu shops. No. They know their soy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's just grab, you can just grab a piece and okay. just like chow down. Oh my God, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. The best tofu. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they're vegan either. Like, I don't think they're vegetarian. Like, no. Like, they sell meat in the shop. Mm -hmm. They just really freaking love tofu. Oh my God. I don't even know how to describe it. Chewy on the outside. Yeah. Really kind of creamy, fluffy on the inside. Mm -hmm. Nice crust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's fried. There's lemongrass flavor mm. it. You could just eat this with rice and I'd be happy. <laughs> I do that a lot. Yeah. Slightly spicy too. Mm -hmm. This is really good. The green onion one is good too. Oh. But this one I find is like my favorite. Okay, so this is the veggie roll. Typically, it's kind of like sliced like deli meat. Here, I'll cut this. Looks like. Oh my god. It's like it's sausage. I know it looks really questionable, but it's seriously so good. I could eat this really for the rest of my life. <laughs> It smells like banana leaf. Oops. Yeah, it kind of tastes like banana leaf. Cheers. Boop. Mmm. Mm. This is my childhood. Like, really? I could just eat this every single day. It doesn't taste like meat though, in my opinion. I mean, it just tastes like the way that vegan jello would taste like. <laughs> vegan jello? Jello. Je that's oh, like, like that. Oh. Like a ham. Yeah, it tastes like a processed ham. Same texture. Same so this flavor. is gonna be great in pho, I think. Mm. I'm putting this in pho. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is vegan jalua. You can use it on um, steamed rolls, on like bantu, which is like similar to steam rolls. You can put them in the rolls. Wraps. The yeah, wraps. rolls, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would um, be really good. This is typically on like uh, bong, like the vermicelli bowls. And it's wrapped in banana leaf, so that's why it has like that sort of yes, flavor. Yes, it has a banana leaf flavor. Mm -hmm. This is the, the three bean dessert. So this is coconut milk, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my favorite. So coconut milk. we put shaved ice in, which is, I put it in the blender. Damn, girl. And then do we just like mix it? Mm hmm Okay, so, oh my gosh. So there's beans, jello, some kind of green jello. It's um like okay, a jelly. I'm gonna let you do this. Cause... Made with agar agar powder. Mm. Anything with coconut milk just makes everything taste great. And it's like naturally already vegan. They have this in Vietnamese restaurants and I've had versions of this before. So I remember eating that green jello thing. So there's like kidney beans and other beans in there, which I thought was interesting because I've only had it with red beans or something like that. Um, Is that the normal way? Like, like azuki beans? Maybe. Yeah. But they definitely weren't like kidney beans. Can I eat it? No. Yeah. Okay, I want a bean. I want some whatever the hell this is. Mu what is this? Mung bean? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm hmm So it's like sweet, mm. it's like dense, there's like a bunch of different textures. Mm. Vietnamese dessert mm -hmm. is all about like different textures. Mm. It's really good. Mm hmm So good. Another childhood treat. Every time we would go to the to Toronto to get to the grocery store, we would get this and like eat it in the car on the way home. You're so Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's quite a lot to like eat alone though. I feel like this is like this is like a shareable thing. Like you share, share yeah. Like, I feel like you want to share it with people because mm -hmm. I feel like alone this is a bit much. Because it's like almost like a meal, because there's like protein, yeah. carbs. There's fat. <laughs> well, like Vietnamese desserts, I find it very functional because mm -hmm. like there's always like a lot of fiber in them. Mm -hmm. I don't think is very common in like Canadian desserts. Like mm -hmm. Canadian desserts are like sweet because of it's sweetness. just carbs. Yeah. This is something that helps you. Carb know, and fat help you, mm -hmm. you know, get things going. I actually have a, a recipe for this if you guys want it. So oh really? It's in my blog or on my blog, so I'll link it down below. All right. So while you chow on that, <laughs> I'm gonna grab this tofu. So mm -hmm. this is silken tofu. I told you guys that I was gonna do a recipe for this and I haven't done it yet, so I'm really sorry. It's just so much easier for me to just buy it, but. <laughs> You're gonna do a silken tofu recipe? Yeah. Hell yeah. So I will do it eventually, I swear. This is just the really, really like thin, like Oh my God, tofu. it looks like pudding. It's so good. It's basically pudding, yeah. I love that. soft tofu. And then you spoon some of the sugar syrup on top. So right now this isn't sweet? No. Okay. Ooh, I like these spoons. Soup spoons. Okay, I'm excited. Yep, you get a little bit of liquid, a little bit of tofu. Mm -hmm. All right. So Asian, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's like those tofu desserts that I buy in the store. Wait, what? You know those like, it's like packaged and it's like tofu dessert, it's like that. Oh, is it really? Yeah. I've never had that. But I'm sure this is much better because it's like mm. fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is healthy basically. I mean, there's sugar syrup, but like you're eating. So if I eat this tofu. alone, 
You I would put this in like soft tofu stew. Like, I, I feel like that would, it would just fall apart because it's like softer than typical soft tofu. But you use, like this tofu that you use for the soft tofu soups, um, stew is, is like basically one? like this. Oh, was it? It's very, very soft. Mm -hmm. And it does kind of fall apart, but that's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so good! Mm -hmm. Can't stop. The last thing that we're gonna try is the oh, lychee things. So these are the lychee jellies. So we have the jellies. So you just, okay, oh, so there's- It smells like lychee. Do you say lychee or lychee? I say lychee. Lychee. So there's a technique to this. Cause there's a lot of liquid in it. It'll squirt in your eye if you okay. just like straight up yeah, open it. Yeah. So you're gonna have like, like kind of oh. suck it out. So do you like open it with your teeth? I do, but you're probably not supposed to because like dentists will be mad, but. I feel like it's, ah! <laughs> Ready? Ooh. So then do you just, then you just eat it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had stuff like this when I was a kid, but it just wasn't lychee. Mm. It was like other flavors. You know, I feel like everyone's had, I don't know, is this a super Asian thing? Like this is a very Asian it's thing. It's a totally Asian thing. Yeah. This is like Asian jello. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's like an assorted one, but my favorite is the lychee one. Mm. Cause there's like a durian one and there's like a pandan Ew. one. I can't do durian. No? No. I love durian, but I'm allergic to it. Mm. It makes me real itchy. Korean people don't eat durian. Oh, it's, not a, it's not a thing in Korea. Oh. It's more of a Southeast Asian thing. Oh, okay. So. It's like it was a very new. It's like banana flavor for Vietnam. It's like, it's like a very generic. Yeah. Like our mm -hmm. like Canadian, our default is like vanilla and chocolate. In Vietnam, it's like taro, coconut, and durian. durian. Yeah. No, actually, this pretty much sums up our very sporadic taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen Rose's video or the video that we did on Rose's channel already, it is the grocery haul of all this. We explain a little bit more. And other stuff too. We got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. For the recipes that are coming up. So you guys have been asking me for ages to make a Vietnamese pho recipe, but I'm finally going to do it because Rose is here and why not celebrate her arrival to Toronto with Vietnamese pho. I'm so, so excited. Pho yeah. is one of my favorite foods. It's actually not my favorite food. It's really? Like, it's like it's too overdone for you? I don't know. It's like a breakfast food, so everyone's like, oh my god, I'm gonna have pho for dinner. I'm like, is it really a breakfast food? It's breakfast food. So they sell it in the streets in Vietnam. Really? So. I've been to Vietnam, but I don't remember it being, I just remember eating a lot of pho. Oh, really? Yeah. That, that kind of makes me happy because I, I eat it when I'm like hungover. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely breakfast food. And yeah. this is breakfast as well. They sell this in the morning for breakfast. Asian people eat weird things for breakfast. Yo, it's just another meal time. Korean people eat rice for breakfast. So. Yeah, that's like totally normal. Yeah. It's like eating bread for breakfast. It's like our rice is their it's bread. bread. Yeah. No, yeah, mm -hmm. very true. Okay, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to yes. the Viet Vegan. Yes. And if you've already subscribed, don't forget to hit that little notification button so it has like the little, little, little ring rings. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. I said that really weird. Is that what you That's mean? normally, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a delicious day. Bye. I said it really weird. Why? I don't know. Say, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Have a delicious day. No. <laughs> don't forget to uh, stay tuned for the faux recipe that yeah. will be coming very soon. Okay, I don't know how to end this now because I'm like totally thrown off. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so I will do it eventually, I swear. So I'll just grab. No, I'm not. More ice. I will have brain freeze. This video is such a hot mess. I know, it's gonna be great editing this. Yeah. <laughs> super, super fun. <laughs> I only tried durian once in like a dessert form. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run to the bathroom to pee. <laughs> <laughs>